Andy, first of all, um, an, another hard working performance and a very different game to the last one, but another three points. You've got to be pleased with the, with how it's gone. Pleased with large aspects of the performance. I thought that the, the team we picked was to try and control the game uh, and look at what they wanted to try and do. Um, and I thought we did that for large periods. What's disappointing is we didn't capitalise on those periods of dominance. And when you allow a game to go into the latter stages at 1 0, you're always an error, an individual moment away from, from a team getting getting something out of the game. So yeah, that, that's the one disappointment um, that, that we didn't we didn't finish the game off sooner. Um, but as you say, we, we ran around a lot. Um, we, we showed a real togetherness. People come off the bench and make an impact. But I think that the ruthless nature, if, if you want to be competitive and, and have a successful season, you, you've got to take the game away from Carlisle later on. No. So presumably what you've said there then, the, the big priority now is when you are in positions like you've been, is to become more clinical and more ruthless. Yeah, 17 shots I think we had and we hit the target five times. Um, sometimes you know that's down to good defending uh, and sometimes it's down to a, a lack of quality on the finish and, and maybe making the wrong decision. But we, we'll, we'll learn, we'll keep improving. Um, a lot of young players on the pitch today uh, re representing us. So yeah, pleased please with lots and lots of aspects and things we can always get better at. at that first 15 minutes looked like you were going to you were going to score at will, weren't you? When that changes and they come back into the game, what do you require from the players at that point then, like you say, to, to stay in it? Because they were always going to have a spell where they were going to be on top. Yeah, you, you, you can't control 95, 100 minutes, whoever you are, not, not in my opinion. So the opposition are always going to have spells. It's how you try and negate the, the length of that spell and try and disrupt it in any way you can. I don't remember having a, a lot of clear-cut chances, maybe the, the header in the first half, maybe the lad can, can hit the target, but they put a lot of balls into our box, we defended our box really well, we got a lot of first contacts, uh, and when Connor was needed, he, he made a couple of saves from, from shots from distance, so yeah, so pleasing with, with lots of aspects, and can we get better, can we get more clinical, can we get more ruthless in the final third? Two starts for James Wilson now. He's just talked about how being available was a big priority for him, more often to you. He's rewarded you with two goals as well. He, he, he looks like he's, he's come on more from last season. He's fit, he's enjoying his football and he's training at a real high intensity and, and he's getting the benefits. So let's all applaud it for him. Uh, he, he's, he's listened, um, he's, he's put a, a plan into action uh, and he's reaping the benefits. And, you know, two goals in, in two starts is good. I, I didn't watch the penalty, I, I generally don't, but I was glad when the roll went up and meant it going back on that. Um, I, I know you don't tend to look at last season, but that's back-to-back -back wins for the first time since November last year. Is, is there a big difference in mentality in this group now, do you feel? Um, I think we've managed to wrestle back momentum. Um, five games unbeaten, I think, uh, and, to, and to win your first three home games is obviously good. It's, it, there appears to be a really good connection with the supporters as well. They, they see a team who are, who are giving everything, who are prepared to run and chase and um, play with a lot of enthusiasm and, and, and a lot of energy. So, yeah, th those, those have to be the basics of our performance. And if we can keep doing that, we'll, we'll keep picking up performances and, and results. Some changes today, no Dan Jones, no Connor Grant. Can you explain what, what was the situation there? Yeah, Connor, um, unfortunately, damaged his back at Charlton in the first half of the game uh, and thought he, he got over it. It's flared up again in the, in the back half of the week. So take no risk with him and he'll probably be back out on the grass next week. Um, Dan's a different situation, unfortunately. Dan was was rushed in hospital on Sunday night uh, with, with severe severe pains in his stomach, sternum. Um, he's been in a, in a really poorly way uh, for, for a, a, lot, a lot of this week. Um, Mike uh, and the medical department have been up to see him in hospital, but yeah, he's not been in a, in a good way. So we, all our best wishes, all our love goes to Dan uh, and his fiancée Scarlett. He, he got discharged yesterday, but he, he's gone home. And the the, the medication um, which he's been given to go home hasn't worked, and, and he's he's gone downhill a little bit again today. So listen, we, we, he, he's not in any danger. Uh, before I bit where jumps to conclusions, but that's the that's the situation with him. Uh, and we spoke about it pre-game, there's going to be things go wrong for us on the pitch today, but let's put things into, into context. You give the ball away, just go and get the ball back. Dan would have loved to have been out there today. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of him uh, as, a, as a football club uh, and hopefully he's back sooner rather than later. Well, best wishes to him. Last thing I wanted to ask you, it is the, coming up to the last week of the transfer window. Yeah. What are you expecting may happen in the, in the next, say, seven days or so? More business. Um, I think... You now look at the football club as a whole uh, and the level of player 
we're managing to attract. That's for a reason. That's down to a, a lot of reasons. That not, that's not just down to the football side. That's how players get taken care of, um, how they feel part of something, how from Carol and Kevin uh, and the board, the, the level of support for it, all all members of staff uh, at our football club is, is immense. So we're, we're an attractive um, proposition. Um, we're using the low market maybe in a different way to what we have done before. We're managing to attract really top young players and when you give them the opportunity, it's then down to them. There's obviously going to be ups and downs, as, sorry, as there's for, for any young player. Uh, and so when those downs happen, we're, we're there to support them. But yeah, we, we've got ourselves um, with, with a, a decent points tally so, so far. Uh, and we have to keep looking to progress, add more competition to places. Um, and, and we'll see what happens at 11 o'clock on Friday. Still in the market for a centre forward? Yeah, we, we, listen, we're looking everywhere. We, we, we want to get better. Um, we we want to push our players who've, who are here. That they, they have to keep raising the level of performance. If, if we want to progress on the football pitch, our performance levels have to go up. So if, if everyone is looking and looking around on a Monday morning thinking, wow, we've got a really good group here, the, the level of training is, is going to continue to go, uh, go up. The, the level of performance on a Saturday is hopefully going to continue to go up. And then you start getting the, the fruits of that and you start collecting more points. So... No one's here to, to rest on the laurels. We're, we're always looking, we're always searching. There's a big market out there, both loans and permanents, and, and we'll see what happens.